Hi everybody and welcome to my discussion on the Nintendo Direct that happened on September 1st, 2016. And I'm going to kind of try and do one of these every single time there's a Nintendo Direct. Uh, it's going to be replacing the review of that week uh, because reviews take a long time and sometimes it's fun just to do something like this. Uh, so I'm basically going to be talking about the 3DS event that they had where they talked about the 3DS for basically 34 minutes straight. I actually found it to be very cool. I thought that they announced some games that I actually would want to play and some games that I thought they would have announced long ago. But let's get into it. Maybe you guys found something that you liked. You can tell me down below. I'm going to talk about the stuff I liked and stuff I didn't really like. And if I don't really think something is important, I'm probably going to brush past it. Probably to the dismay of a lot of people. So let's go talk about it. The treasures while heading for the goal. As always, let Pikmin are uh, fire resistant. So the first notable thing that I uh, think they talked about was Super Mario Maker 3DS. Uh, this was something that I wanted uh, when they announced Mario Maker. I thought they were going to announce a 3DS version last year, uh, but I think it was smart to announce the 3DS version this year because I think a lot of Nintendo fans probably would have bought the 3DS version instead. Um, I wanted it because it kind of adds to the convenience. You pull out the Wii U gamepad and you play a course and you can just play the 100 Mario challenge, it's fun. It's just something you can do for like a half an hour in the evening and just leave it there and do it again tomorrow uh, in between like class or college or work. It's something really cool that you can do. But now you can do it on the 3DS, it's even more convenient. I can do it on the train. I can do it when I'm waiting for the bus or the train. I can do it like when I get bored in college. It's really cool. So this is some of the details that they have to do with this uh, version. There's 100, 100 built-in levels. Uh, they will have extra challenges like uh, coin challenges and stuff like that. Uh, they will have Wii U courses, uh, but they won't have an ID search, which means you can't search for your favorite courses or courses by um, people like Ross O'Donovan or um, uh, people like uh, The Completionist, which is kind of weird, uh, but they said it adds to the spontaneity to everything. Uh, also, we have the 100 Mario challenges coming over from it, and also you can create your own stuff still and share by wire, though. Yeah, you can't share by Wi-Fi. Kind of confusing. You can still create courses on the 3DS, and uh, but you just can't upload them is what I'm actually seeing from this. It's a very limited version, but one of the coolest things you can do is through, say, your friends. Say um, you're in a room together, and uh, or maybe you're just hanging out, and you both have Mario Maker, and you uh, you you make half a course, and you're like, hey, here, what, what do you think about this? Do you want to make some improvements to this? You send it to him or her. And they do something else to it, then they send it back to you, and then you have your completed course then. You can, like, collaborate in that sense. But it has to be through, uh, local Wi-Fi, I think, or the wire thing, which I think is kind of silly, but at the same time, I guess we always knew it was going to be a limited version. I'm just probably going to buy for the 100 levels and the playing the Wii U courses as they come. You can just do random courses, um, uh, on and off, I guess. Uh, it comes out December 2nd, which is really, really fucking cool that they, that they gave us it. Again, I have to pay for it, it's not a present, but I'm pretty happy about this. Next was Mario Party Star Rush. Uh, I gotta say, it just looked cool. Uh, you only need one copy, which is so strange from Nintendo. Like, what are you doing, Nintendo? That's how you liked money. Uh, basically, you just buy one copy, then everyone else downloads the kind of other version of it, and you can play Mario Party together. Uh, four people, I guess, in the room with 3DSs can play it together because of that. Uh, one of the coolest things that came out of this is that there's new Amiibos, there's a new Luigi Amiibo, there's a new Diddy Kong one on a barrel, and uh, this will be coming out October 7th. Uh, that's the release date of this, which is, you know, again, it's another thing that's really cool. You only have to buy one copy. Uh, that would actually be pretty good for a lot of my friends who own 3DSs, but probably won't want to buy this. Uh, we can all probably, like, chip in or something. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to buy this, but I think it's just kind of that's what I'm thinking people are going to do if they do buy this. Again, it looked cool. Uh, it was a Mario Party game. What else can you really say? It's a mini game uh, f festival. Looked better than Mario, Par Mario Party 10, is what I can say. Uh, I guess that's really all I can say about that. So there's new amiibos being announced for the Zelda 30th anniversary. Uh, there's the 8-bit link. There's the Ocarina link, which is really cool. And the Toon double pack from the, for uh, Zelda and Link uh, from the Wind Waker. Uh, another cool addition to the Amiibo family, if you like collecting Amiibos, I only own one, which is the Wolf Link Amiibo. Uh, but it's a pretty cool addition if you guys like that. For me, I don't know. They're just another um, uh, Amiibo figure that I'm probably not going to buy. Although the Ocarina thing it looks like something that's going to be special and probably rare. I don't know, it looks like something that's going to be extremely rare. He's holding the Ocarina and playing it. 
I don't know, I think you should probably pick it up if you are thinking about getting a pre-order as soon as you can. Don't do that thing where you pre-order a hundred and sell them off for a thousand. Please don't do that. I am also happy to announce that the original version of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword will be releasing today in Nintendo eShop on Wii U. So, Hyrule Warriors Legends is getting an update, which is the Phantom Hourglass and Spear Tracks update. It's a, I don't, I think it's, a, is it a free update? I don't think it is. I, I might not have paid attention enough to that part. And I apologize, because this review is now compromised. This discussion is now compromised. Uh, it is an update where you can get new characters for the actual, uh, I actually don't think it's free, guys. Uh, don't take my word on that. I think it's free. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being hopeful. Uh, but you get actually the sand wand for Toon Link, which is the new, a weapon for the game, but you also get to play as Toon Zelda, which is another cool addition to the game. Again, this is something that they're basically saying here, here's something to hold you over onto the NX, and uh, I think it'll probably hold over people who like uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends, and that's available right now, that became available shortly after the actual uh, Nintendo Direct, that's something that we like people doing, I think a lot of people like people doing that, like when Fallout was like, Fallout Shelter's coming out tonight. It's a cool thing because it's, we don't have to wait four months for a DLC. It's absolutely fantastic. So we have Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, they're adding amiibo functionality. Uh, there are going to be new amiibo cards and new animals that have never been seen before. And yes, this is probably where I got confused. This is a free update. I, I think this is nothing but good. You can buy the amiibo version or you can just get the free update for the amiibo version. It's a pretty cool fucking deal. Uh, if you buy the actual uh, amiibo cards, you can buy them in a pack with the actual game. Uh, I won't play this probably for a while. I'm gonna wait for it to, it to go on sale. For some reason, it's not on the Selects version in the, the European 3DS store, but it is in America. Uh, if anyone wants to send me a copy, uh, I'm, I know, I'm not gonna say my address. That'd be very stupid. So yeah, there was Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix. I didn't really care that much. I think there's people who would actually really like this, uh, but for me, uh, it didn't really jump off. It, it's not the type of game I would probably play. Uh, Dragon Quest Seven. Dragon Quest 7 looks absolutely goddamn amazing. They've added new stuff to it. Like, what, like, the dedication to this, to this port is something that I, I, is, is nothing short of amazing. Uh, like, for Dragon Quest fans, this is gonna be something that people are gonna, they're gonna want to latch onto. I know people are really gonna want to latch onto it. I, for one, am gonna buy it. Never played a Dragon Quest game in my life, but I'm gonna do it. It's completely new looking. There's new, ta uh, there's new dungeons. Uh, there's new things you can, like, share. You can share over 50 tablets, is what they said. I have this written down here, guys. It confused the hell out of me, I'll be honest, but I still want to buy the game. So there you go. They succeeded. It's coming out September 16, 2016. If you buy this, you also get a theme for free along with it. And along with that, they have Dragon Quest VIII, which is coming out in early 2017, which I think is probably another one I'm going to buy. A definite buy, because I've been watching uh, Michael Uber play it, and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, Picross 3D Round 2. So, Tank Troopers. This looks like really cool. It looks like a hero shooters, but with tanks. Uh, it looks kind of fun. Uh, you, there's like different tanks with different powers. If this was online multiplayer, I would absolutely go ballistic for it. I would go crazy for it. If they make this into an online multiplayer game, I would buy it and it would be so much fun. I'm sure it would be only fun for like a week, but it would be really fun just to play. But you can play up to six player local. Uh, which is which is really cool. I, I like that Nintendo still uh, live for local co-op. Uh, not many game companies like local co-op anymore. It, it's a fun thing just to play a game with someone beside you. Not many people actually like adhere to that anymore. And I think that's a really, really, really cool aspect that they're actually adding to Tank Troopers. So there was a montage. We had uh, Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice, Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4, Apocalypse, and 7th Dragon Code. Uh, it's like a JRPG that, uh, looks alright. It looks alright. It's, again, it's another game I probably wouldn't play myself. But again, it looks pretty cool. All that montage really showed off that the 3DS has too many titles to even show in a 35-minute video. So that's a good thing. That's a 100% good thing. Especially with Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. I know those games are extremely popular. Sonic, uh, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice looks amazing. It looks like an original Sonic. And Shin Megami Tensei, of course, never played one of those games. I, uh, but it, it looks good, I guess, guys. What, I don't know what else I can say about it. That those games always, like, involve strategy, which is not really my thing. Uh, so I can't really say that I'm really into this. So 
So there was a Nindies montage uh, which showed actually a few cool uh, indie games, which Nintendo Indies is what it stands for. And if you buy these games at launch week, it's 10% off, which is something that they do a lot of on Nintendo. They do 10% off. It's not a lot, uh, but it's, a, it's still a discount if you buy it in the first week. Uh, I think Nintendo do like want to support indie games because that's what the other consoles are doing. And uh, they did a, they did they've been doing it for quite a while now, and it's worked out very well for them because they've actually been selling indie titles uh, extremely well on the Wii U console and the 3DS console. So why not look at the success of Steam World Dig? I don't think you like you can play it on other consoles, but by God, 3DS is perfect for uh, for that type of game. It, you know, I'm playing it right now. Actually, I just bought it the other day. It's like 8.99. I think that uh, Nintendo are very smart to actually focus on their indies. So we got Yoshi and Poochie's Woolly World, or Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, whatever you want to call it. Same as uh, kind of the Wii U version, but they added stages uh, for Poochie. And also you can do this thing called Poochie Pups, which adds uh, Poochie Pups to the game. Uh, yeah. I don't know how much different it's going to be, but Yoshi's Woolly World was amazing. And to have it on a 3DS, I'm actually pretty excited to actually put it on a, a handheld console. Because I play most of my video games on a handheld. I kind of, uh, I do play games on the PlayStation 4 and the Wii U, but the handheld is just so much fun to just sit there anywhere and just play it and uh, they're also doing animated shorts uh, for this uh, trying to show you the world I guess and if you buy this you get those animated shorts it's not something that you have to pay a subscription for you just get those animated shorts and it's coming out for February 3rd I believe uh, if I get that date wrong guys crucify me please so getting excited about something that Nintendo announced which was a game called Ever Oasis uh, I don't think they actually announced this sorry yeah so Ever Oasis is a game that I actually Instantly just got excited when I looked at it. It looks so unique, so different. The character designs are so goddamn beautiful. Um, like, really, the characters just look so good. I want to play this. It has dungeons. You can use, like, as an ally system where you bring different allies for different missions. If you have the wrong ally, you won't be able to get to a dungeon. I like those things. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a success in the JRPG community, or at least the RPG community. It looks very cute, uh, but I will say that it looks like it's very involved. It is, uh, it is one of those games that I feel like is a mixture of like uh, Dragon Quest VIII just looking at it and Final Fantasy X. And then with kind of the allied system, I think you can kind of look at a kind of like a Dragon Age system where you know like stuff like uh, a warrior can bash through the wall or uh, Solus could energize things, the, the mage. I think that's a really cool aspect that games kind of look over. I think this game, uh, Ever Oasis is going to be a day one buy for myself. A lot of these games are day one buys for myself. My wallet is going to be hating me by the end of this. So we had Mario Sports Superstars. It's just another sports game. So onto a game that people are really excited about, which is Pikmin. Uh, this is something that I always miss the boat on, but people get so excited about it. People want this as a launch title for the NX. And uh, judging by the actual nature of it, I think it actually looks really cool. Uh, it's a side-scrolling adventure game. Uh, you can basically tap the screen to put uh, those little, uh, I think they're called Pikmins, in different places. Um, guys, I wish I could get excited about this, but I don't know much about it, but people on the internet are going crazy about this game, uh, in terms of Nintendo fans at least. Um, overall, I think that I would definitely like to play this game, but only if it's like gone down in price. It's not my type of game. I don't really know what else to say about that. I think if you're looking for a game like Pikmin, I think this is definitely... You know, if you like the Pikmin franchise, this is probably a game you're going to want to pick up. Uh, if you like side-scrollers, uh, I think it's another game that you're probably going to want to pick up as well. Nintendo rarely fail with side-scrollers. They usually do extremely well. Or they're doing extremely well or just miss the mark completely. Uh, but I think, I think it might be cool. So guys, that was my first ever, like, discussion on a Nintendo Direct. I'm going to do them every time they do a Direct just because... Uh, it gives me, again, it gives me a break from the review, but also I want to talk about these certain things because this one actually excited me because I own a 3DS. Uh, this is one of those things that I actually got really got excited for. A lot of people thought there was going to be a sneaky NX rumor put in there, uh, but that is, I didn't expect that. If that happened and I was completely wrong about it, I would, I would have been so upset. Uh, I think they're going to re reveal the NX pretty soon. It's just not on this Direct. It was never going to be on this Direct. It's a 3DS Direct. They know how to prioritize things. Uh, I think Reggie Fizume also learned the proper way to explain a console and reveal a console, so he's probably going to reveal that much later. But overall, I think this is a good uh, Nintendo Direct. They had a lot of zany comedy that didn't really get over, but at the same time, I don't think I could ever get mad at Reggie. I don't think I could. And the thing is, I've only known about him for, um, like, you know, about five years, 
it's not the same as everyone else's. They're probably like known and for like most people actually known for like most of their teenage life. Uh, me at the age of 21, um, I'm not uh, really into him. But every time I see him talk, I'm like, Reggie, you you can't be lying to me, right? You can't be right lying to me, Reggie. So guys, thanks very much for watching. That's me discussing, I guess, what happened in the Nintendo Direct. If you think any of the stuff that I said was disagreeable, or if you actually thought that you agree with it, if you actually like any of those games that I announced or hated any of those games that I um I didn't announce them actually, but any games I talked about that were announced, please let me know, and uh, there should be a review next week. Thank you very much for watching.